Night two. Oh my god. I take it from the lack of red mist spattered on that window. That means you survived your first night. One of the things I forgot to mention last night was the relevance of the air ducts throughout the facility. Oh, I noticed. The animatronics, well, I noticed. one of them, might try to get into your office through them. Though, don't worry. We've given you remote control over the ventilation covers. Yeah, hey, remote control, we has the power. You can access from inside your security cameras. The catch is, well, you'll figure it out. Fortunately for you, they don't even count towards your power budget. Speaking of that, on your desk there's a button marked Overdrive. That's linked to the generator downstairs. It'll allow you to generator? use an extra piece of equipment for a short time. Oh my Be careful gosh. though, as it'll have to cool down. It'll also scramble any animatronics that are standing too close to it. I think there's one in particular that might try and go down there to mess with it. Keep an eye on that, would you? Where's the generator? Make sure you watch everyone else as well. I don't think they're gonna let up just because there's something new to worry about. Anyway, I'll talk to you again tomorrow night. If you're still here, that is. Bye bye. These phone calls are great. These phone calls are excellent. And so it begins. This is after Krusty Krab burned down. Yeah. It's a sequel to the original Five Nights at uh, Krusty Krabs. So there's a generator downstairs. Which I guess would be... I would assume this would be hit. This down here, right? Change his position? Wow, he moved quick. Ha! <laughs> What's up? Cell Tile, thank you for following. Those phone calls, though. I was on short circuit when submerged. You actually like the voice actor in this Finance of Freddy's fan game. Wow, that's a first. Ha! <laughs> Not good. Squidward down there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Squidward is animated too, but he doesn't move very much. He's very still. Wait. He's not immediately by the door, was he? Wow, that is so creepy. Where is the ventilation access that Patrick can probably go into? Whoa! 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 Who the heck? What the heck is that supposed to be? It's already going for the door. The oh my gosh, dude. That is so, so, so creepy. It is, but it doesn't look like it. Wait, who is it? That's Sandy? Are you serious? How is that Sandy? How is this the Krusty Krab burned down when it's underwater? Oil spill, maybe? <laughs> well, you heard of, um... Um... Was it hydrothermic vents? So maybe like there's a volcano underneath the water or something. Let's open that temporarily to not burn it out, shall we? How the heck is that Sandy? 
Oh, I guess it does have a raccoon tail. And it's sort of... Sort of missing a face. Face would definitely help. There's Spongebob coming down from the right flank, so he can... Wow, he went down to, like, do push-ups. You see that crap? What the <laughs> fuck? Wow. <laughs> Remember, they're built to kill. I guess that would explain why they're more, like, demonic and evil-looking. The guy on the phone is even more creepier than the phone guy in Finance and Freddy's. Wow. That got you a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was... That was unbelievable. Alright, let's continue this. You have to go. Good night, Raccoon Superhero, and thank you again for Risk of Range and Crypt of the Necro Dancer. One of these weekend nights, I'm gonna do take it for Crypt the of the Necro Dancer, dude. Spattered on that window. Have a wonderful night. That's a raccoon tail and sort of has no face. Wait, no. Did I say a raccoon tail instead of a squirrel tail? I did, didn't I? I must be thinking about Raccoon Superhero for his generosity. Oh, this one is much better than the first game. Can't believe I can say that. Isn't it funny how, like, typically these sequels of the fan made Five Nights at Freddy's games are, like, terrible in comparison to the first game? Um, to give you a bit of an example, Five Nights at Thomas's, the first game. Despite the gameplay being actually fairly poor, the phone calls are incredible. The second game, while it improves like the actual gameplay of the game, it still retains simplicity and has a slow start but then curves into, again, the hilarious phone calls. I'm just gonna close with one vent, just like to go get lucky. And he won't like bust through and like rip my face off. You have a face though. Yes, I'm quite confident you do have a face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be trying to kill me in a video game either, Raccoon Superhero. Whoa, someone's in front of my office. Who's that? SpongeBob. Okay. Faces are just myths. Now you're just wishing for Hello Kitty. Okay, where? How? How did Squidward? How did Squidward kill me? <gasps> well, that's how he killed me! Wait, 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 wait. I can overdrive. Or not, because he's already in the vent. <laughs> Crap. What the heck do I do? What do I do if he's already in the vent? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, Patrick, dude, you are like scary as I'll get out. Maybe the overdrive. <laughs> Just wow. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh. Close the vent. Uh, like, how do I close the vent? I like, which one do I close? You see this? I don't understand. Or do I, like, see him on the other side, and then I close the vent? Which he got in there before with this, like, closed. I have no idea. I have no idea.
idea. Now, he said, like, in the phone call that, like, overdriving the generator downstairs shorts out an animatronic or something while they're down there. Oh, jeez, he's already going down there again. Um, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Um, oh, okay, so there we go. He does show him peeking. It shows him peeking in the camera before he decides to do anything. And we got Mr. SpongeBob on our right hand side. Okay, not too bad. Kill him. He is in the vent. Man, I'll beat you. Okay. So I caught him just in the nick of time. How does that work, though? He just, like, I have to, like, close the vent or something on him? I bet Squidward kills you by playing his clarinet. I wonder if he can go back into the vent and then I have to, like, re roll. Like, re close it. Oh, come on. SpongeBob, please don't be in here. Thank you, game. Let's do the overdrive thing. Let's see what happens. It says temporarily allows me to activate an additional device. So we're going to watch Squidward for a moment. You like the 3D animations and the 3D head movement? Yeah, it's built using the Unreal Engine. Okay, so he did not go back in the vent. Wait. Not there anymore. I'm gonna close the right side just because I have this like feeling. What is that sound though? Oh my gosh, Squidward. Squidward, you are you are a creepy fella. Wait. There's there's Sandy, the squirrel again. Mr. Krabs is not doing anything. You know what? I'm not even paying attention to like the time of this game. I'm just gonna do the overdrive for S and G's. What's up, Cyflux EDM? Return of Freddy's 3 had a new update. It's pre-release 3.5. It makes Lockjaw less aggressive and fixes Vigo's model. Really? I saw that it got a new update actually. Dragon Trainer and Dargo. I follow it on Game Jolt. I'm Ichi Badass on Game Jolt. And so I get the email notification updates when, you know, certain fan-made games get updated, that being one of them. But, like, I don't know if it scales down the difficulty enough for me to actually beat Night 7 and 8 without spending hours upon hours, you know, playing it. That's my only concern, is like, if I'm going to play a fan-made Five Nights at Freddy's game, it has to be enjoyable through and through. Sandy, man, you are creepy. Um, it has to be enjoyable for me to actually play through the game. It can't be something that, like, how do you know the right door is overheating? Oh, wait. Does, like, the thing right here start to, like, glow? It does. Man, that's, that's lame. That is lame. So do I like the game? Is it scary to you? Are you asking about this game or which game? are you referring to? Oh, crap. Here's Patrick. Wait. Oh, good catch. Good catch. And let's go ball back. Let's just overdrive. Let's see what happens. Whoa, he left. Patrick left already. Um, do I find this game scary? The simple answer would be yes. I do find this game scary. The reason why... She has a hook? Wait. Is that still Sandy? I think that's still Sandy. The answer why I find this game scary is because there's a lot of unknown exactly to how to play this game. Okay, it's a lot better there. Um, the atmosphere of the music is excellent. There's... The, the animatronics are mobile. I don't know exactly all of their kill animations. After you see the kill animations a couple of times, the game becomes less scary. You look at Five Nights at Freddy's 3, you look at Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you become desensitized to it. Since I've never played this fan-made game before, it is very easy for me to get that sense of anxiety of, like, the death of the SpongeBob animatronics. Now, do I find this game more scary than the first one? Absolutely. 
Um, the first one has the 3D models, but this one does a way better job of it. And the the activity of the animatronics in this game moving around, being fairly more aggressive than they were in Final Fantasy Crusty Crabs, adds to the fear factor that is very well complemented by the music tracks. It complements the atmosphere of like the dark hallways. Um, I honestly feel like, first of all, I don't feel like I'm in a pineapple under the sea. I feel like, I feel like I'm playing some sort of sci-fi game, like some sort of sci-fi alien game. There's four levels and multiple rooms. Oh yeah, additional levels to this 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 um, fan-made game adds to the complexity of it too.